So the role of steel in this building is a very important role. We're dealing with library loads, so books, which means that we have to deal with heavy, heavy loads. Although it's a four-story building, the loads that are coming down on those columns, and some of those columns are structural steel, is equivalent to a, a 20 to 30 story commercial tower. And structural steel is the preferred material of choice when dealing with such a large span and such heavy load. Over the main entrance, there's some very large spans that we had to get across. Structural steel is a very efficient material to span those distances. You can do it in reinforced concrete as well, and the public spaces on level two, three, and four, when you look up, you will see reinforced concrete. But in the main entrance space, it's very column free. In fact, there are no columns. When you go up to the main entrance, there is going to be 55 meter long truss. And a truss is essentially a spanning member, a beam, let's call it a beam, but without solid steel. So it's a structural element that is the most efficient use of material. So you're using the least amount of structural steel to span a large distance. Mostly you see trusses on bridges. The main purpose of the trusses in this building is to allow a column-free space in the main entrance and to also span over. Because the building is quite a unique shape, it kind of converges to a point of the north side and somewhat on the south side, you have a fairly complicated geometry of the structure. You're dealing with a lot of curves and you've got to kind of span over the tracks. But the architect didn't want to have columns when you walk up to the main entrance, getting in the way of things. You don't want to have a forest of columns in a library. We also have another interesting truss on the building at the north end, which cantilevers out over top of the tracks. So it'll be an interesting experience once it's completed. There's gonna be a cafe and you'll be able to sit there with a book, or your iPad or whatever, have your coffee in hand, and you'll be able to see the trains come out of it right from underneath you, literally just underneath you. I have four kids, and um, I took them to site a couple weeks ago, and my uh, youngest is uh, just turning three, and he thought it was the coolest thing that there was trains coming out of this building. Like, where are they coming from? He has no idea where these trains are coming from. But, and then my youngest daughter, thinks that I'm physically building this building all by myself, of course, I'm doing everything. It's just amazing to be able to see the stage it's at right now.